So today we're gonna to be doing a quick walkthrough of the ALM Accelerator for Power Platform, just to kind of show you the parts and pieces that you get and how it works. So have you been building apps in the Power Platform and maybe you've run into some issues where you're trying to collaborate with others and you realize that you can't open the application and edit it because somebody else already has it open and they're making changes, or maybe somebody made a change or you made a change and you saved it and published it and didn't realize it wasn't fully tested and now your end users are experiencing all kinds of bad problems. Well, what I wanna encourage you today is to start using the ALM Accelerator for Power Platform. And this is a great tool. Um, it's actually uh, functional and you can use it to solve those problems. So specifically the three things, the areas that it addresses are gonna be collaborating with your team members. So you can actually uh, take your application or your solution and merge it in source control. Um, and it enables you to work in your own environment while your uh, coworkers are in their environments working. So you can collaborate on the same application, maybe different functionality, but the same application. Um, it's also gonna take all of that code that's behind the scenes and actually put it into source control. Uh, so you're protecting your IP that way. Uh, and then lastly, you'll be able to build your application in a way that lets you deploy it to an environment where somebody can actually put eyes on it touch it with their fingertips before it actually goes into production and you can then plan that deployment as well. All right, so if you've been building Power Apps for any length of time and you're working with others on it, you've probably figured out um, that out of the box is pretty limited in terms of managing your application, managing the source code uh, that exists behind the applications or the solutions. And you've probably got experience with doing things like exporting your solution or exporting your application taking that MS app file, um, and if you're going the extra mile, maybe you're unpacking it and uh, opening that in VS Code or something and checking that into a Git repository somewhere uh, so that you can hopefully collaborate with others, or maybe you're just taking that MS app file, sharing it with someone else, and they're importing it into their environment. Nonetheless, there ultimately becomes a difficulty in merging things together if you're multiple developers on your team. Um, and in any event, that's a very manual process. It's very painful to do. And that's the way things used to be. Now that we have the ALM Accelerator for Power Platform from Microsoft, it kind of manages that process in its entirety for us. So it integrates directly with Azure DevOps. Uh, you can use a Git repository in DevOps. You can tie to um, specific work items in DevOps if you want to. Um, and it gives you the necessary tools in the Power Platform environment to be able to basically click a few buttons join that code stream and then add to that team's effort. All right, so the first thing I kind of want to talk about are some of the parts and pieces that you get with the ALM Accelerator for Power Platform. Um, so without going into a great deal of detail on how this is actually configured or set up, um, I'll leave that to you or someone on your IT team. Just kind of want to talk through the elements um, so that you kind of understand the parts and pieces and how they work together. So the first thing that I'll talk about is the Center of Excellence ALM Accelerator solution. Um, so this is something that gets deployed into an environment in your Power Platform tenant. And I would recommend that you have an environment dedicated just for this particular solution, or maybe even the entire Center of Excellence toolkit. Oh, and by the way, we do have a video out there for uh, those who are interested in environments, how to set them up and what you can use them for. We'll be posting a link to that in the description. So let's dive right into the applications that come with the Accelerator. Um, so in this particular solution, you're going to get a couple of different applications uh, that we'll take a look at. One is the ALM Accelerator for Power Platform Administration, and the other is the ALM Accelerator for Power Platform. So this is really the application that we're going to look at first and uh, primarily. And this application is specifically intended for all of the makers in your organization. So in this particular case, um, I've opened the application, and you'll note here on the upper right-hand side that you can choose from any number of environments that you have in your tenant. In this case, I've chosen my developer environment. Um, and so in this case, I've got a couple solutions already in my developer environment. But let's say I want to actually join the effort on another application that someone is building in my organization. This is actually the tool that you'll use to do that. Um, and to do so, you'll simply choose Import Solution, and then if your administrator has set up your profiles correctly, um, you should have a variety of profiles. In this case, we're gonna go after the hoteling application or solution that we have. And so this is actually a repo that I have out in Azure DevOps that someone has already checked in a solution to. 
um, and I can actually select the source. Um, so if I want to get, let's say, from a particular branch, I can pull that. Um, and then a particular solution folder. So this is the solution that exists actually within my uh, source code branch. Uh, and then I can choose to import the solution. What this is actually going to do is run an Azure pipeline for us. And you've got this little blue indicator here, this little clock symbol that's telling us that something is actually going on. And if you actually click that, it's going to open Azure DevOps to the pipeline that's actually running. So in this particular case, if we wanted to sit here and watch this run, we could actually watch all of the different jobs uh, for this thing run. And this is going to basically go through a series of steps to take the solution as it exists in source code in that branch that I selected and actually pull it into my developer environment. All right, now that our pipeline is actually completed, we can see all of the jobs have completed. Let's go back and take a look in the ALM Accelerator application, and we'll notice that now we have a bulb hoteling solution that's actually uh, in our list of solutions that we're managing in my developer environment. So now that I have this solution in my environment, we can actually take a look at my environment specifically, and we'll see that solution shows up here. And if we actually want to uh, edit the application in the solution, we can do that. So I'm going to go ahead and find uh, the applications here in my solution. So in my solution, I have four applications. I'm going to quickly just open one of them and make a small change. So we're going to edit this solution, or this application, I should say. Allow our connections. Okay, so now that my application is open in the developer studio, I'm just going to make a quick little change here in the app on start. Uh, so we'll go find that property. Um, and you can see I've added some comments in here and changed a few things. Um, but I'm going to go in here and I'm going to add simply another comment. Uh, we'll say Mike was here. All right, so now I'm actually going to save my changes. And then we're going to go ahead and publish. And so keep in mind, I'm doing this in my developer environment. So these changes are just there for me um, and nobody else. And when I'm ready and all set with these changes, I can actually leave the application if I want to, or I can leave it open. Um, but then I can come back into the ALM Accelerator for Power Platform. And in here, I can choose to commit the solution. So this is where somebody has made some changes and they want to check the source code in um, or push the source code, so to speak. They can come in here and enter some notes. Okay, so one of the additional options you have here is to actually prepare the solution uh, before you commit. And what that will basically do is, if you have any outstanding changes to your application, it will actually publish all of those changes for you. In this case, we're going to go ahead and bypass it because I've already done that. Um, and then I can actually commit my solution. All right, and so once again, when this is committing, um, you will actually see a change here. Um, it'll turn this little indicator to our blue clock, indicating that there's actually a pipeline running. If we want to see what's actually running, we can click on that and it will open Azure DevOps directly to that pipeline. And we can actually watch that job as it's completing. All right, now that that pipeline is completed, let's go back and take a look at our ALM Accelerator application. We'll see we've got our green check again, basically indicating that that uh, export to our branch was successful. So then the next logical thing that you might do here is to actually deploy this, let's say to a validation environment. So you've got this nice deploy button here in the middle. We can then come in here and say, or let's say deploying for validation. If I could spell right, some notes. Uh, and in this particular case, we're gonna actually get rid of our advanced settings and we're gonna actually deploy right to the, our validation environment. And so one of the things that you'll do when you set up this ALM Accelerator application is you'll actually define some additional environments. You'll have a validation, a test, and a production environment. Um, you could set up additional environments if you wanted to, but the, those are the standard three. Um, and so in this case, we're gonna deploy to our validation environment. So we'll click on Deploy Solution. And again, we should see our little blue clock up here there next to our deploy button. All right, so now that we've got our little blue indicator next to our deploy button, we can actually click on that. And this time, rather than taking us to an actual um, pipeline and the a running of a pipeline, this is gonna take us to a pull request. 
And so for, the, for those of you who aren't familiar with what a pull request is, a pull request is simply a developer has made a change to an application or to some source code, they've committed that change, and they're asking others to take a look at that and validate it. So in this particular case, what's actually going on behind the scenes is in our pipelines, if we go take a look, we actually have this deploy valid validation pipeline that's actually currently running. And if we take a look at this, this is currently actually deploying to a validation environment. So if we take a look at the actual job itself, we can watch that job run and complete. And once that has actually deployed to that validation environment, then we'll be able to go in and review the change uh, if we need to review the change. And then we can complete that pull request by approving it and then completing it. All right, so now we're gonna wait for this job to finish running and then we'll complete the pull request. All right, now that that pipeline has actually completed, if we take a quick look over at uh, our validation environment, we'll see that there our solution is. So if we look in our solution, we'll see that we've got our applications there. Note that this solution is actually deployed to a validation environment as a managed solution, meaning you cannot make changes to this from a code standpoint. So these apps are not editable in this environment and that's what we intend because whoever's doing the validation, we don't want them to be able to make changes. We want them to test the code that we made changes to. Uh, so that's fairly important. So we see that that has been deployed. Uh, if we actually go look at our pull request, uh, we can then approve that um, and ultimately complete it and choose how we want to merge that code. So our build validation worked, so we've completed that pull request. And so, so what we've basically done is we've said, here's a pull request, go look at this change in the validation environment. And now that it's approved and completed, we're automatically now, we have kicked off a deployment to our test environment. So that initial validation could have been like another developer on my team was like checking my source code, looking at the changes that I made, completed the pull request. Now it's actually gonna be deployed to a test environment where our quality assurance team can take a look at it. So all of that is managed through those pipelines that are deployed in Azure DevOps. So that should give you kind of a quick idea of what this uh, application, um, the ALM Accelerator for Power Platform can be used for. Just a quick note on um, this particular application is it is using profiles that are defined um, as being um, something that's related to your Azure DevOps environment or a repo. Uh, so for example, when you choose a profile, you can choose from an existing one or you could create a new one, for example. And this is expecting you to have a specific um, project, organization project and repository uh, within Azure DevOps that you're using. Um, so this is where you would configure that type of thing. But once that's associated with a given solution, you can then commit that solution and get it into source control. Um, also note you have an option here on the right to actually delete the solution. So if you're done working on that particular application uh, and you no longer need it in your developer environment, this is kind of an easy, straightforward way to remove it from your environment. It works very well. So in addition to that ALM accelerator for Power Platform, some of the other things that you should note, we kind of talked about it a little bit, uh, or we alluded to it, are the number of pipelines that you have. So if you actually take a look at the repo um, that gets configured uh, with this particular solution, if we flip over to our uh, pipelines repo, you'll actually see that this is connected to a series of pipelines that's pulling them down from GitHub. So these are pipelines that exist out there, created, maintained by the community, uh, that are used for this particular solution. So it's really handy, automatically connected for you. So you get an ALM Accelerator for Power Platform Administration app. If we just quickly open this up, this is basically a model-driven app that gives you insights into uh, who, are you, who is using the ALM Accelerator, uh, what are the deployment profiles that you have out there, uh, what repos is it connected to, and things like that, and then ultimately what deployment requests have been made, so it's keeping a history or a log of what's actually happened. Um, so this can be handy for any admins who are trying to help troubleshoot any issues that your developers are having. Uh, just one special note is when you set this up, you're kind of expected to have developer environments in your tenant. Uh, so some tenants don't have those yet, so be wary of that. You can set up a makeshift separate environment uh, as a developer environment. It also expects you're gonna set up a validation test and production environment just as kind of a default. Um, you will need someone who has tenant admin access to be able to create those environments for you, as well as Active Directory administrative access uh, in order to create an application registration that kind of ties all of these things together and enables all of the parts to talk to each other. All right, so as I just alluded to, this can be a bit involved to set up. As I mentioned, you'll need an admin or you need to be an admin in your tenant to be able to do it. 
Uh, we have a related blog post where we kind of walk through a lot of these steps in a little bit more detail, as well as pro I provide some of the resources that I use to actually set this up in our environment, uh, some of the things that I found very helpful. All right, so that does it for our little walkthrough today of the ALM Accelerator for Power Platform. I hope you found this useful. If you did, we really would appreciate comments uh, on our video. Uh, we're interested to hear about other experiences with these types of tools, uh, or if you run into little tips or tricks, please post those as well. Uh, if you like this content, be sure to subscribe so you can get more. Uh, any questions, leave a comment in the description. We'll get to it when we can. Also, remember that we have a monthly office hours. It's the first Wednesday of every month where if you have any questions about Office 365 or some of the tools and you're stuck, feel free to join us for free, ask your questions, and we'll try to help you get unstuck. That's it for today. We look forward to seeing you again soon.